the multiple flashlights that I carry on my pest control truck. Um, when I first started in the business 10 years ago, um, I carried one, this guy right here. Um, I used to laugh at guys in you know the business who had 10, 15 flashlights on their truck, but now I have a bunch in front of you and I have a couple of doubles in the truck too. And uh, I'll explain why. But the first one here, it's a little guy, it's made my Nebo, Nebo, I'm, I'm assuming most of these are. Um, what's good about this is the size, fits right in your pocket, you don't got to carry it around, your pants falling down. Um, the other good thing is it plugs right into your cigarette lighter. So you go to a job, use it, maybe a couple of jobs, put it right back in the cigarette lighter, charges up for the next time around. Pretty bright. Um, obviously, you know, if you're in a crawl space or something like that, you're going to have good light on it. Um, so this is my go-to guy. Um, as soon as I get out of the truck, this is the first one I grab, just because it's easy. Second one is a little bit bigger. Okay. Um, still small, enough to fit in your pocket, a back pocket. Um, has a magnetic base, so if I'm working, I can shine the light that way, or I can shine it down. And same with all of these, except for this one and this one. They all have magnetic bases, um, which makes it a lot easier to work with if, if you need two hands. Um, just click the bottom, zoom in, zoom out. Okay, uh, another good one. So if I forget to charge that one, this is my second go-to. The third one is the biggest and heaviest of them all. Um, you don't want to put it in your pocket because your pants will definitely fall down. Um, same thing, button on the back. Zoom in, zoom out. Okay, um, this one, no, this one doesn't do it. Actually, this one does it, I think. This one pops open too. So you could actually have this little light on the side if it ever comes on. There it goes. So if you wanted to just place it down, and it'll work that way too. Okay. This little guy, this little guy, I have two of these. One in the truck and one in my house. And I'll tell you why I have the one in the house in a second. Um, but again, magnetic base. You can do it this way or this way. Um, just on top. Just toggle through all the different settings. Okay. This is really good in crawl spaces too. Not too heavy. It's actually thinner than this one and this one. You could fit this one in your pocket and be okay. Um, so the reason why I have this one in my house too, I have it in my garage right attached to my electrical panel. So if my electric goes out, I go right to my garage, it's already facing down, I hit the button, and I can look at my panel box and trip whatever you know, breakers need to be tripped. So this is another good one. Um, most of these were bought in local stores, uh, not your big chains like Home Depot or Lowe's or anything like that, local hardware stores. Um, Correction, this one actually was bought in Home Depot. <laughs> this is the one I'm going to get to next. Um, I keep this in the truck, on the inside of the truck facing down. It has a magnetic base, okay, so it has the ball here. This attaches to the inside of your truck on the top or on the side, and then it just clicks right on, okay. It has an on-off and an auto, so I keep it on auto all the time. And let me show you what it looks like when it's on, so it's pretty bright, okay. So when I open up my sliding doors to my truck, this automatically comes on. It works great, obviously, at night if I'm looking for something in, in the back of the van. Okay, so this was like $12, I think, this one at Home Depot. Um, most of these, the most expensive one, I think, was this one, was probably $30. This was $20. This, I think, was like $15. This was, like, actually a pretty good price. Uh, that's why I got two of them. They were like 9 bucks. They were on sale. Um, so, you know, pretty good flashlights. Now this one, this one's sort of like a throwback to the old mechanics when they used to hang this from the hood of the car and do their work. Um, same premise, it has the hook. Okay, it also has a magnetic base and then an on-off switch. It's plastic. Um, this is made by Handy Bright. Um, it's actually pretty good. This I bought in I think a, a tractor supply store. Again, it was it was under 20 bucks. This this might have been like maybe like $12, $13 also. Uh, comes in handy, you want to hold it, do whatever you want to do with it. Um, magnetic base again upside down or sideways okay this one this one I have a bunch of and I keep these in my house and one in my truck and I have about three or four of them in my house okay um, basically what you do you use it two ways use it as a flashlight a little button right here
okay? Or you pop this open, hit the button, and now you can use it if you have a blackout. And I've used this once already um, in a bedroom, a kitchen, and a living room. And you probably can't see here because you don't have the lights on and everything like that. But when it's dark out and when the power's out, this will light up your whole room. Okay, trust me, this, this, bright, this light is pretty bright. Um, so it's definitely handy to have a couple of them around the house. Um, this one I bought off of Amazon. No, I'm sorry. I, yeah, this one I bought off of Amazon. The other ones I bought in my local uh, hardware store. I think it was the tractor supply store again. And they were cheap. They were only like $4.99. On Amazon, this was $6.99. And the only difference between the two is this one is rubberized. So you get a better grip on it. The other one's plastic. Um, they both work the same. They have uh, 300 lumens on this one. Um, so, you know, when you open it up, extend it, and then 120 when you're using it as a flashlight. So, this is more of a house one for me, uh, but I do keep one in the truck. You can never have too many. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I'm going to be making more um, about equipment that I use uh, in the truck on jobs. Uh, also going to do a video on the truck. Uh, so, if you have any questions, just leave them in the, in the comments below. Um, if you like the video, please hit the thumbs up and also subscribe for future videos.